<coughs> I was just <laughs> brutally assaulted by my recording partner. <laughs> You're self-inflicted, man. Because I <laughs> fucking was not. <laughs> I was fucking taking a bite of an elephant ear, like the pastry, and it's super flaky. And this motherfucker's like, how is it? And not wanting to be rude and unresponsive, I fucking took a breath and was ready to be like, it's good. But the breath fucking, like, carbureted Repounded. pieces of bread back into my lungs. <laughs> <laughs> this looks pretty good, huh? It's very tasty, but Jesus Christ. That's the raspberry one. It is. Is it very raspberry? I don't know. I've only had one bite. <laughs> it was a pretty good bite. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Please continue. Looks like the investigation Oof. is still going. That's the fucking angel. I have to be getting back to the shop. Sorry, looks like I'll be stuck in this pit till the sun sleeps. What? I'll see you in my dreams tonight then, baby. Oh, that was two people. <laughs> no. Oh, still here. Uh, uh hello. Oh, <laughs> uh, mommy. Yeah. Corn. We've said it several times. <laughs> Maybe bleep out that first one <laughs> and keep the second one. Why the surprise looks, didn't I mention? I've got a boyfriend in criminal affairs, too. You already said that. What happened to the security guard? Oh, she's gone. Oh. <laughs> hey, what's wrong, Bambina? You're looking like a doggy that's lost its herd. <laughs> Gulps whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Jake Marshall. Strange guy to put in charge of a crime scene. What a guy. Hey, yo, what a pussy. <laughs> oh, right here, Doc. This fucking Mr. Marshall. <laughs> I don't know why I went for Dr. Marshall. <laughs> That's. I feel like I have to have heard that name somewhere before. Maybe. Like, it feels so familiar. It's like, Doc Marshall just sounds right to me, but I don't know where from. There's Good something bet. I wanted to ask you. <laughs> Listen, I'm fucking having a moment here. <laughs> I'm having a moment. <laughs> the scene of the crime. A cold grave for men who've lost their dreams. And me, I watch over them as they sleep, dreaming of the desert's harsh judgment. I'm gonna stop you right there, fella. <sighs> That's a little obscene. <laughs> I watch over their dead corpses. I mean, he fucking does. Like, it's basically what he just said. Yeah. I watch over them. Mm hmm Watching them decay slowly. Yeah. I witness putrefaction. <laughs> like, fucking please help me. Get me a different job. Yeah. He's asleep. <laughs> <laughs> the fumes are getting to him. <laughs> I think he actually is having whiskey. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, should we show this? Hopeless case, something to catch. If my his fucking interest. job was just to watch dead bodies until they rot away in front of me, I would drink some whiskey on the clock too. Yeah. Like, there's something I wanted to ask you. The scene of the crime. Okay. <laughs> me, 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 me. Hey, yo. <laughs> would you mind reading this for me? <laughs> Everyone goes all <laughs> fucking western. What is this? I warn you, fan letters to me go right in the spittoon. It's a letter of introduction from Detective Gumshoe. May we investigate? Gumshoe? Ah, uh, that old cow dog. We mean old. <laughs> yeah, he's like fucking 37. What? <laughs> <laughs> he's supposed to be younger than us. <laughs> no. Not like us, but meaning Phoenix Wright. He's not younger than Phoenix, is he? He's not, he's not that old. Because <laughs> Phoenix is only like 24, he's right? 24. I can look this up. Why oh, you, why that's going to bother me. Hmm, he holding a birthday party or something? Uh, huh? <laughs> look, where it should say letter of introduction, it says invitation. Are you fucking kidding me? He's 28. Gumshoe? Yep. 
Uh, so so he's, he's only a couple years older than Phoenix Wright. You're saying he's dateable. <laughs> I think he just miswrote. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why am I getting all defensive? I'm glad you skipped over that. <laughs> no worries. I just wasn't going to touch This it. proves it's from Detective Gumshoe. Better than a blood test. Because I'd better let you in then. I'm not going to have much hair left if he keeps doing that. Thank you, Officer Marshall. I mean, yeah. I'd gonna... imagine he's not, like, shaving, shaving. He's just kind of, like, trimming. You know? Yeah, but still he's going to run out. <laughs> uh, yeah, but... I oh, mean... that's right. He's a... Patrolman, not a detective. Which reminds me. Hey, wait a sec. Hey, listen! <laughs> that made me need whiskey. <laughs> Isn't a crime scene supposed to be handled by a detective or higher? Well, folks, the clues are calling. Welcome to our gold strike. Be like the settler, strike out for lands unknown. Manifest it. Oh. Oh, oh, no, no, no. I don't think I will, Chief. <laughs> Manifest destiny. Let's have a hoot nanny. <laughs> if this was actually said in Japan, I'm going to have a serious talk with the writers. What? <laughs> if this was actually, like, not like, you know, this was just the translation team that did it. It's got to be. <laughs> but if they I don't actually think said they know Manifest Destiny in <laughs> Japan. You're like, hmm. <laughs> I feel like that would be like us fucking teaching, like, I I can't even come up with a fucking... Feudal Japan. <laughs> yeah, like the fucking feudal system in Japan. Note to self, police investigations are like settling land. You, you take everything you see. <laughs> yes. And, and kill as you do it. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, Mr. Wright, what do you say? No. <laughs> That fucking check I got the other week's gonna get deducted from my bank account now. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Say I won't be needing this anymore. Crumpled and discarded. Damn. All right. Slide to the right. Phone. That's really good. <laughs> this looks like a cell phone. Hmm. Scientific analysis would suggest this belonged to the victim. Yep. <laughs> I can't think of anyone else it could belong to. What if it's Edgeworth's? What's so scientific about that? <laughs> Should we check it out? The sun is hot. I can't think of a reason it'd be cold, so it, it, scientifically it's hot. <laughs> check it this out. Right. Let's check it out. Alright. Yeah. Oh? The fuck was that? It was doing it by itself. That's gross. And I hate when Meow. games do that. Oh. Man, what a boring strap. What's wrong with it? Everyone has different tastes, you know. Here, check out mine. It's a pink princess strap. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> These are hard to come by, you know. I see the series is as popular as ever with the kids. <laughs> Get dunked on. Yeah. I love how fucking snarky Phoenix is. It's oh. Oh, it was the button to open it. Okay. I didn't... My flip phone never had a fucking No, button. it was just called... Whoop. <gasps> yeah, that's why you called it a flip phone. Otherwise, it would be a fucking pop phone. <laughs> <laughs> pop! <laughs> <laughs> Hmm, this phone's still on the redial screen. Jeez. Redial? Who the fuck has ever used that function on a phone? <laughs> I mean, no. <laughs> nah. Uh, Mr. Wright? Most phones keep a record of all the calls you've made and received. Mm-hmm. You just press the blue button to display the last number you called. Yeah. No, it's not convenient. It is the least convenient, <laughs> because I'm never calling the same number twice in a row. <laughs> no, I never really do. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised you didn't know about it. Sorry to disappoint you, but even I know about things like redial. That's probably been around since the telephone exchange. And also, Phoenix is only 24. <laughs> yeah, he's fucking young. <laughs> if this was... What year was it? 2000... Well, this was the remake, so I think it was 2004. I mean... The original one. The original was 2001. 
2000 someone who was only born in fucking like 76 yeah like that's not that super old no huh oh He's old I'm now. sorry I mean yeah <laughs> not fucking not as old as my parents but no not it's just, my parents either <laughs> you never know with people from your generation <laughs> bruh I don't even know what generation that is she was 76 I don't know uh, the one after my parents but before us is that X? I don't know. Because <laughs> obviously it's not millennial. Mm. Millennial was before us. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> moving on. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Let's check this phone out. Do 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 do. Huh? Oh. Oh oh oh. Oh, I guess you can zoom. Whatever. Oh, okay. Now to see who the owner of this phone last called. Note to self, a defense attorney doesn't think first, he just pushes the button. <laughs> button go boop! <laughs> hey, that song, I know that! Uh, hey, what's going on over here? Uh, oh, t sorry. I see you, partner. You pressed redial on that there phone, didn't you? Uh, well, yeah. Who, whose phone is this, anyway? It was on the ground over there. It's mine. Whose is it? Oh, that belongs to Chief Prospector Sky. <laughs> yeah, I, almost I was about fell into to the this. same trap of my brain being like, that's too stupid, don't say it. <laughs> but he is that stupid. Yeah. Well, what? It's my sister's? You don't even know your own sister's phone? You don't yeah, see her that's, that much. that's brutal. <laughs> she apparently dropped it when she was taken into custody right after the crime. Look, the last call was made right when the murder occurred. Looks like she was fixing to call someone. Except she only spoke for a few seconds, according to this. Who did she call? Ghostbusters! <laughs> Who you gonna call? <laughs> no idea. Sorry, partner. Well, it sounded like he knew the no. music. I got a question for you, partner. I heard a phone ring just now. One of those newfangled ringtones. Oh, that? Oh. I'm sorry, that was my phone. What? Hold up. Wait a minute. <coughs> <laughs> what? Your phone? Yeah, it's kind of strange, but... Someone called me right as we picked up the other phone. A wrong number. Bruh. <laughs> Nanny desk. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're not lying. They shoot you for that in Texas, partner. <laughs> you're from California. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong, though. Yeah. They shoot you for, <laughs> they shoot you most for last things in Texas. <laughs> uh oh. I've incited the wrath of the Lone Star Patrolman. This sandwich isn't feeling mighty fresh. <laughs> <laughs> the last call was made at 518. So if Edgeworth pulled in at 512 mm -hmm. and they said it was the 3 minutes was at 515 before and then the call was made at 5 3 minutes eight. after the murder. Something's not lining up here. Yeah. Cuz they're like you yeah, called during it. And I don't think so. <laughs> no. Those timeline I... don't be lining up. Hmm. This appears to be the car where the body was found. It looks like the lock on the trunk is busted. I just... Part of me thinks she, like, called Phoenix for help because she found the body. But I don't Maybe. know what motivation she would have for that. Yeah. I don't know why she wouldn't... It just, like, scream like, help! Like, <laughs> <laughs> fucking, there's a uh, dead Yeah, I mean, body. the security place is right up above them. Ooh. That's a good point. How the fuck did they not see that? The crime took place in the underground parking lot of the prosecutor's office. The body mm. was found in the trunk of my support in his car. Yeah. Yeah, we can see the uh, outline. <laughs> mm hmm. Quite a luxury car. It just screams, I have money to burn. Yeah, prosecutors get the big bucks. Do can they? I get Jack? 
Oh, I actually have no idea what the fuck prosecutors get paid. I don't know. Depends this... if you're a public to public sector, like private, I guess. I don't think you can be a private prosecutor. <laughs> I believe that's illegal. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> this is rope? Ooh. Is it? Yep. For they bondage. laid it in the outline of the victim's body. Yeah. Um. The context of the two that things makes we just it said. A little bit more upsetting. Yeah. I'm gonna be real chief. I didn't think far ahead about that one. Not really. So wait, the victim must have died when the killer <laughs> Okay, credit card. Oh, hey. That's important. Oh, a debit card. That's even more important. <laughs> That's attached to things. <laughs> this episode has made me get up and walk away more times than all the rest of them <laughs> combined. Yeah. The, victim, the victim must have died when the killer closed the trunk on him. <laughs> You've got to be the only person I know that would come to that conclusion. Yep. It looks so stupid. It really does. <laughs> What's this? It looks like... A note of uh, some sort. What's the names of the guys that made it? I think it was like the Fleischman Brothers. Like those fucking old, yep. bouncy, Betty Boop-ass cartoons. Like... Actually, I think they did make Betty Boops. Yeah, so. I think so. <laughs> like fucking rubber hoses and shit. Yeah, which now I think is like one of the main things that people say you, you don't do with yeah, animation. Yeah, like creeps them out <laughs> in animation. Look, something's written on it. This stretch and squash, I think, is the two things. Yeah, they used to fucking love that shit. Yeah, Goodman. It's his note. Oh. Right, let's see. 6-7S, 12-2. What? <laughs> is that English? Is that, like, a location Also, a I'm glad they said it, because I would have thought that was a 5. <laughs> yeah. There's a name printed on the paper above that. Goodman. Maybe it fell out of his pocket when he was killed. Loose ass pockets on that uniform, goddamn. <laughs> like my fucking credit card fell out because I'm wearing fucking shorts. Like fucking. Because it is hot in here. Cozy ass, like cotton shorts. <laughs> cotton. Cotton jazz is nice. Well, so, what does it mean, Mr. Wright? How am I supposed to what know? What the fuck? <laughs> Note to self, for deductive reasoning, go to Edgeworth, not right. <laughs> I'm sure Edgeworth wouldn't know what this means either. His note was added to the record. Mm. Boop. I think a good boop, way to boop, end boop, this boop, series boop. would be with, like, one of Phoenix's partners getting so annoying that he's just like, okay. Hey, can you, like... Can you check in that little, like, blue minivan and see if there's anything in there? And then he just presses the button on the machine. <laughs> and it's like... B-block. Fucking God. Visitors. <laughs> I can see the Luntaland car over there, far in the distance. Hey, you're right. I like the cute design on the door. I can see a cartoon cow munching down on a juicy-looking steak. Hmm. Is that cannibalism? <laughs> it definitely is. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> Unless it's like a tuna steak. Steak does I doesn't have to be beef. Doesn't that strike you as a little creepy? It's beef. <laughs> it's creepy. It's beef. Just don't think too deeply about it and you'll be <laughs> fine. I think that's... It? That's what it looks like. Oh! A. A block. This area is reserved for prosecutors. Defense attorneys are regulated to be black. I dream of the day when I'll be able to park my car here. I'll go over to B Block to buy my hamburgers from you, Mr. Wright. <laughs> I'm not planning on giving up my job that soon. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Fucking leaves oh. job. Can't wait to see you at McDonald's, boss. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what she has said. Has the same energy. Like, fuck you, you're a jackass. <laughs> You ain't yeah. gonna fucking achieve shit. Officer Marshall, could you tell us more about the victim? Glug. Good men always die young. Remember that, partner? Um, could you be a little more specific? 
Bruce Goodman. He was a detective, right? Well, well, aren't you a feisty doggy there now? Please never say that again. <laughs> Detective Goodman was stabbed here at 5.15. Or do say it. I mean, <laughs> the smiling Madonna told me the tale. <laughs> Don't smack me, bitch. <laughs> I think he means the witness, Miss Angel Star. Mm. One stab to the chest. A fine piece of work. Yeah, you would know holding a knife. Yeah. I would like just once to try and shave with a sharp knife. <laughs> like, you know... Trim that shave. Yeah, probably trim. <laughs> Shaving with a sharp I'll, knife. I'll get to my lanes, then you can. Yeah. But like, fucking, you know, in the movies when they're in the trenches and they're just like, fuck, my razor's broken. They take their fucking bayonet and they're like... <laughs> like... Yeah. Yeah, this is the autopsy report. Oh, you're just giving it to us? Perfect, thank you. <laughs> well, my cup runneth over, but for real this time, like, thanks. Right. Died within an hour and a half of 4 p.m. But I thought we knew the that time. That of- I thought we knew the time of death. Very sketchy. <laughs> Was my sister involved with the victim in any way? Like, were they fucking... Funny you should mention... <laughs> Impeccable timing. <laughs> Chief Prospect of Sky and Detective Goodman had nothing in common at all. Doesn't mean they weren't fucking. Opposites tracked or something. I can't remember how the song goes. <laughs> nothing in common? They apparently worked together on a case a few years back. So something in common. So there's a mo- motive. There's a mo motive? No motive. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I've had about three times as much as you. I'm having about the same amount of linguistic trouble. <laughs> Goodman wasn't a particularly difted. <laughs> difted. I guess I'll go fuck myself. That's what I fucking I get for ch- <laughs> one up a friend. Goodman wasn't a particularly gifted detective. I see you just combine gifted and detective. You like gifted, gifted and then just went straight to the D. Detective. <laughs> That's one reason why I didn't do much work with the chief prospector. But my sister called the victim here on the day of the murder, right? Here to this parking lot? So it seems, like calling an unarmed man to a shootout at high noon. It's high noon. Um, I don't mean any offense, but Officer Marshall, you're a patrolman, right? Not a detective. You calling me out? They shoot you for that in Texas. Huh? I was one of them fancy shoot detectives till two years ago to tell you the truth. Oh, really? Now he tells me. But you're a patrolman now, so how can you be in charge of a crime scene? Nothing gets by you, does it, Bambina? So why are you in charge? No reason. We're just short on hands right now. I'm keeping an eye out in the meantime. Maybe because they're only having the higher ups <laughs> Fuck, be that's in the fucking, criminal sector. You know what? I'll believe it with how shit is. <laughs> now. Yeah. That's odd, though. Detective Gumshoe was saying he had nothing to do, nothing important, at least. Yeah, he was dancing on Yeah, front. with the fucking, the puppet he made. <laughs> He's nothing but a sad old cow dog that can't find his tail. Maybe it's because he runs with that Edgeworth, eh? Edgeworth? I spy, with my little eye, a fucking motive. (laughs) You know? Yeah. (laughs) That cow dog's been kicked out of this cattle run by order of the chief of police. Just, he don't realize it yet. He doesn't realize it yet. Detective Gumshoe kicked out of the investigation? I don't don't think you can make that kind of decision and not notify the involved parties. (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> Bro, why the fuck didn't you come to court the other day? You never sent me a jury duty letter. Too bad, fucko. <laughs> You're going to jail. 
is Monopoly. Yeah. Go to jail. Go to jail. <laughs> so, Do not collect go. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So there's no connection between Detective Goodman and my sister. That's correct, but there's a gold mine of evidence against her. Huh? And the prospector tomorrow is none other than Edgeworth himself. I'm afraid your sister's fate is decided, Bambina. Many condolences. I'm spying another thing. He said he's no longer a detective. I think Sky demoted him and he's fucking angry about it. Yeah. I think he fucking went for revenge and then tried to blame it on Edgeworth. But it backfired or something. Or tried to blame it on... Sky. But how would he know that Sky would be there? That is the main question that we will ah. find out throughout this trial. Yeah. Officer Marshall. Yeah, Bambina. How can you say that? You and my sister, you were... Is there something between this cop and her sister that I don't know about? <sighs> I apologize, Bambina. Something must have gotten to me. You know how I can tell when you turn to me, Ben? Yeah? You can smell the whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's that dry wind that's a blowing through the prospector's office. Dry wind or ill will? Someone's up to something here, but who? Office atmosphere. <laughs> hmm. Suspicions about Mr. Edgeworth have been flying around for nearly two years now. For his evidence and arranging testimonies, you mean? He was unbeatable because he did whatever it took to win. And now he's lost four in a row. <laughs> Damn. Unbeatable, that is. Until he met you. Finger guns. <laughs> mm. But rumors are just rumors, aren't they? The other prosecutors were talking about. Evidence is everything to them. If you follow the rumors about Edgeworth to their source, you find one person. But they're off limits. Untouchable, you might say. One person? Mm. Who? Hate to say this, but it's your sister, Bambina. Chief Prosecutor Lana Skye. What? My, my sister? Edgeworth couldn't rustle all those cattle by himself. Some people load their guns with bullets. Some people load them with deals. Hmm. What? You're saying Edgeworth was making deals to win trials? Well, there's gunshots. There's bound to be bullets. That's what the old timers say. There's a big old secret hidden around here somewhere. Everyone knows it. Is that why Detective Gumshoe was taken off the case? Oh. Did they target him because he was the closest to Edgeworth? I have something funky going on here. <laughs> yeah. So, well, how are we doing, Mr. Wright? <laughs> yeah, is this good? Uh, I'm confused. <laughs> I guess we've got some clues. We have an autopsy report, a note from the victim, and a cell phone. So, you think we'll be okay? No. <laughs> <laughs> That sounded almost exactly like Zach. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, the only thing still bothering me is that Lana's confessing to the crime. She says she did it. No problem. I can guarantee that she's not the criminal. Oh, by the way, Emma? Yes? I know that song your phone plays when it rings. What? It's the Steel Samurai theme song, isn't it? Ah, uh, you've been called out a little bit. That Bambina. popular TV show <laughs> for kids. Oh, why you gotta do her like that? <laughs> the phone that rang earlier wasn't mine. It was yours. <laughs> At 518, just after the murder took place. Your sister called you, didn't she, Emma? I... I'm sorry. Can you tell me what you talked about? Uh-oh. <laughs> I... She hung up right away. I see. Yep. Mm. Last call made to her sister. Oh. 
Uh oh. A detective is murdered and the suspect is in the top prosecutor in the district. We got a minute left. We got a bad feeling about this. Like maybe I still don't know everything that went on here. Mm. You. To be continued. Oh, for fuck's sake. Next time I mean, you know what? It's close (laughs) enough. Fucking call it. (laughs) We'll see you next time, guys. This is really fun. I I love this game. I love this game. Can't wait to do all of them. (laughs) Maybe. Bye. If we don't get (laughs) cancelled.